Welcome to Brightside Home Theater. I'm gonna show you how to go from this, to this, to this, and back again. And then at the end, we'll play the Snyder Cut twice, both with and without masking. Don't forget to hit subscribe and let's get to it. Today we're gonna to talk about aspect ratios. Here we have the three main aspect ratios that you use in your theater. This is going to be the Snyder Cut, 133 to 1. Here's your typical full screen, actually 185 to 1, has the little bars at the top and the bottom. That's a little bit thinner this way than 16, uh, 16 by 9. Uh, 235 to 1 is your typical movie where you need your bars across the bottom. Now, this illustration doesn't exactly show how great 133 to 1 can be, okay? This one does. So here, the full screen is your 16 by 9. This is where you're going to have your bars at the top and the bottom. And here is the Snyder Cut. And we're going to put bars here. Now, I'll mask all of this out for you with what I've made. I made these bars a long time ago. These bars I just made, and I'll show you in a minute in the video, how to make these bars. Real simple. First, we'll do the lower, the up and the bottom, up and the top and the bottom, easy for me to say. So these go up this simply. I have them right down there. They go in nice like that. That one stays up there. Don't hit your knickknacks. That one stays there. Everything looks good. Lights out. There you go. You get better black levels, perceived black levels. More on that in a little bit. Now we'll swap those out quick. They're black, so they blend in with everything. These ones I keep at the back of the room, making sure to keep good side towards the screen. You'll hear about that in a second. No, this one. And lights out. And you can see, you can barely even see the lines here. That's how nice the black velvet works. So that's that. Now let's see how we made those. So how to build your own four-way masking. Well, before we do that, or while I'm doing that, please do me a favor, go down below and click subscribe. Really appreciate that. I'm about to save you thousands of dollars on four-way masking. All right, first thing you need to buy is pink foam insulation, the pink styrofoam insulation. It comes in four foot by eight foot panels and you can get different thicknesses. Measure the thickness of your frame for your screen. Mine's an inch and a half. So a single panel for top and bottom and a single panel for the sides. And the reason for that is, is you want to use the clean edges that are on the outside. Just makes your job easier. When you're purchasing it, make sure that the panel you buy doesn't have a mark in it like this, because that'll ruin the edge. But you can see here that if that wasn't there, that's a nice, perfectly clean edge. And then when you cut it, it would pro it's going to look like this. That's not the end of the world, but we'll get to that in a second. You'll also want to buy, this is a little hacksaw that doesn't have an end to it. It's a really quick hacksaw blade. I bought one of these. It's like 10 bucks. Here's my receipt, $24.72 for the foam and $11.97 for the saw. Next, you'll need to pick up velvet, black velvet. And black velvet's not cheap. It's about $29.99 a yard, according to my receipt here. Uh, Joanne Fabrics had to ha happened to have a sale of 40% off if you went to their website, so I did that. I was able to save a little money. I needed two yards of fabric, and you'll also need a roll of standard duct tape. Now that I have all my supplies, 
throw up a 133 to 1 aspect ratio scene on your screen. I use the Snyder Cut, as you can see here, and take measurements. The left side of my screen is 11 inches and 3 quarters, and the right side of my screen is 11 inches and 3 quarters. This is a good test to see if your screen is centered correctly. Then measure top to bottom, mine is 53 inches from top to bottom. Then head on outside. Outside is very important. This stuff gets everywhere, uh, very staticky as you cut it. Make your measurements. Use your straight edge to draw a line. And then score that line with a razor blade. After that, you'll use your handy multi-saw and start cutting following along that scored line. And as you can see here, use it at an angle. Don't go straight up and down because you're more apt to be, you're more apt to waver and have less of a nice clean edge. If you have more of an angle, you're, you're, it's easier to cut straight. And then when you're done, this is what you have. And you can see all of the shavings and how ugly that is. But then the other side that it came with, the nice clean edge looks like this. And then just mark it good because when you start wrapping it, you'll want to know which side is, is which. And then repeat for the other side. Quick note about this. You can save that edge. If you needed to use that edge, take a piece of two by four or something flat it doesn't even have to be long. It could be six inches long or something. Wrap a piece of 400 grit sandpaper, even a 320, uh, 280 grit sandpaper, and you can smooth that right down to get a nice, clean, straight edge if you had to use that. But if the good edges that it came with are fine, don't worry about it because these back edges are gonna be away from the screen. They're gonna be up against your frame. Once you've cut them all up, Clean them off using a damp paper, paper towel or something. Clean off all the excess shavings. Bring them inside and pop them in your frame to see how they fit. Don't be afraid if they're a little loose because you're going to be adding velvet to the edges. So if they're too tight here, you might want to shave off the ends. You can, again, you can use sandpaper to sand it down a little bit because it's hard to shave just a little bit of this stuff off. Then lay your velvet out on the floor, velvety side down, put your foam board down, center it up a little, and cut it right down the middle. Once it's cut, starting at, a, at the center, pull up from the edge and just tape down at the center, and then moving either left to right, start your way down the end, but make sure to pull out any of these little wrinkles, keeping the tension like this, and then just tape it, tack it in place all the way down, then do the same down to the other end, then fold your corners like this, tape them down, fold that back up, then you'll have a nice corner, do the same to the other end, fold up the back side, starting in the middle, and working your way to the end again. That's what it looks like when it's all tacked in place. Then I just tape it all down with some nice clean pieces so it's not flapping around, and I mark which side is the good side. You'd be able to feel it too through the velvet. Then put one in place, and you can see the difference. One side has what? The other side doesn't. And there we are with both sides done. No masking. Masking. And now with the lights off. And now let's see them in use. We'll watch the Snyder Cut trailer without them and then the entire Snyder Cut trailer with them.
dream. Almost like a premonition. I think there's an attack coming. My lord, this world will fall. I need warriors. I'm building an alliance to defend ourselves. How do you know your team is strong enough? If you can't bring down the charging bull, then don't wave the red cape at it. You were sent here for a reason. And even if it takes you the rest of your life, find out what that reason is. And then the entire Snyder Cut trailer with them. If that was helpful, please hit subscribe. If you have any questions, you can email me or hit me up on Twitter. Thanks for watching.